Hey Busters, welcome back to another Capsule Toy video. So today, we'll be taking a look at the brand new Kawa or the Kawagata 02, or the Stag Beetles, number two, so Kawagata. Well, here's a mini booklet, booklet sorry guys. So just to open up, uh, this time, um, there are actually all, there's only four types in the series, there's four, and all of them are actually, um, uh, what is it? All of them are pretty much different mold. So here, uh, it's kind of, does it really say the out, uh, lineup somewhere? Hmm, interesting. It doesn't quite say the lineup this time, but it just does show you here the three types. So, um, I'm really not sure, like, all these names, but we got the, what is it, the Miyama Kuwagata, the Mandi Puriris Futamata Kuwagata, and the DDRU Shikuakata. So yeah, and then the rare one is like this little weird like white the grub, pretty much the larva grub. So that's really cool. But yeah, so I wanted these. So and today, if I recall, uh, we're gonna be taking a look at this one, the Mandipuris. Or I think uh, I did, you know, kind of Google up the name, and the name is um Hexathurius Mandibularis or whatever. So. Anyways, stag beetle with a big pincers. So yeah, so um, here it is. Um, usually, as always, when you get it, it should be uh, shrink wrapped in two, uh, two shrink wraps. So like one this way and one this way, um, because this time it's so much harder to see what's inside. As soon as I uh, roll it, I have to open it to see what I got. So as always, two halves. This is the display, and this one is a throwaway piece. And uh, for those who follow my channel or just have these in general you'll notice that this time the capsule is brown so throw away piece but yeah uh this time they're going with a brown display so it's kind of cool although i wish they stuck with black you know just for consistency sake so that's kind of disappointing but you know it is what it is maybe so as always you just turn this over and it becomes the display base oh this time it locks in a lot better maybe so and then you have the display as always, as you can see here, it is a hexagon shape, so it's not uh, perfectly rounded, so you can't rotate it, you gotta actually um, peg it. So I usually just like to wiggle it up and down, so, you know, not too much stress marks, sorry, busters. And there we go. And then you get, you know, six, so I think they recommended like this much. Maybe I'm just gonna put it this way for now, you know, figure out a bit later. I think they did recommend doing it this way this time. So yeah. Uh, yeah, so in the booklet, usually they do say, so do it like this, so kind of, yeah, like that, and then just have this one straight up, but I'll do that a bit later. Yeah, so uh, if you write it, you should get six pieces, you get the body. So this time you can see it's got like this brown and black wings. Uh, the wings are, one clear and one pink baggie to separate left and right. You get the mouth mandible pieces, the head, and the legs. So let's get these toys out. So, here. so as you guys maybe kind of noticed if you guys watched my other um, uh, opening vids, like this time, and uh, usually in the beginning, they kind of have things done for you, but you recently they kind of like put these sprues together one for sake of ease for building and you know i think it's just an easier way for them to just pretty much ensure that you get all the pieces without losing any you know so there you go the wings and as always uh each of these parts do have like a slight marker so you know which one is which so don't worry if you're like if you just do what i do you just cut everything out You'll be fine. So there we go. So let me just put this away. All right, so let's get it. So here are all the pieces. So, so ooh, that's some nice detail. Look at that. So I'll show it a bit later. So first off, let's just do the legs. Uh, oh, so here is the display piece that you pl plug it. Uh, sorry, plug in to the bottom here so if you can see like the bottom there's the legs here and this middle port is for when it's flying mode which just pegs up right here you know you're supposed to actually uh, have this rotated up like so so 
I guess I'll just quickly do it now. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, it goes up this way. So just be careful when you're doing it to get a feel of which way it's supposed to uh, go out. So this one just plugs up there and they say have it up like so. Like yeah. So, so uh, if you guys actually look here, you guys will be able to see the number three. And then this one just says number one. And the other one should say two. Yep, so there we go, two. So that's how you know, two is the middle, three is the bottom legs, and one is the front legs. And if you can't remember and don't want to come back to this video, just look in the little mini booklet that it comes with. One, two, three here, so. There you go, so let's just do that. First, let's just do set one. So, because these are on ball joints, you know, you don't really have to try too hard. You can just twist these out as any sprue marks will be hidden once it's inside. Just twist these and this remove the piece. Find the head and the legs angle outward. So, although before I do that, I think I do want to put in the other parts of his head first. So first the mandibles. Uh, this one, it should. So you got two, I think they go down this way. I'm not sure, let's see. So clearly, this one. Oh no, I think this is the Dian Dian one. I'm not. Yeah, this is the Dian Dian one. Sorry, guys. I thought it was the Hexablah, but this is the Dian Dian one. So this one, uh, this part should stick out. So, or sorry, stick up versus down, right? Yes, this one goes up. So in other words, it should go like this. Let's see. Is there a marker that says left or right on this? Nope. So you just have to trust me on this. Although I'm gonna be honest, I could be wrong. So just plug that in here. So as you can see, kind of, there's two holes, one here, one here, there. So you want the inner one because it's bigger. The outer one should be for antennas. So I usually just kind of like nudge them in, you know, slowly rotate them in. And then, oh, once you feel it's in, you got it good to go. So one more time, you just kind of wiggle them in while moving them left and right until like, you feel that little pop in so don't feel it yet so one more time mm -hmm. not feeling ah nope so this is soft plastic oh there we go <laughs> got that feeling so maybe it goes up like this i think so i think it should be up like this oh look at that big bull like Buster. Oh, defeated. And then let's go. Antennas are here. I think I'll do the antennas next. So I'm going to do the legs next. I'm um, sorry. The antennas last because they seem really brittle. So these should be easier. Oops. Use my dominant hand. So I recommend when putting it in, just kind of like wiggle it in while pushing it in. Seems to be the best way. So kind of like rotate around. So spin it. There we go. So I guess probably just so if you spin it, I guess, at least in my mind, the, what is it? There's less stress or the stress is just kind of like spread out everywhere. So there we go. Got the little legs. It's already crooked up or bent up already. So next let's do two. So two is in the middle. Twist these off. This one. And this one. And let's see. Yes. So these legs should be pointed downward. So that's an indication of which one is left and right. So this one is going to slowly there we go. Oh, no. I thought I got it in. There we go. And the other one. Interesting. So here in the bottom here is very flat. It's a matte black finish. So interesting. Ooh, so uh, just be careful, guys, because de due to detailing, like like the legs here, you can kind of see it is sticks out. It is quite sharp, so just be careful of that, guys. So I guess I never actually mentioned it in any of my videos, but uh, for these toys, they're really nice and cool, really detailed, but actually, like, their attention to detail and just the sharp plastic bits, because of these small, I don't recommend, like, if you have, like, kids, like, 
a little boy or girl who loves insects and stuff while these are cool um i wouldn't recommend you really letting them play with it due to like lots of sharp bits here and there probably cool if you're like uh you know you build it and then they kind of look at it and you you're with them when they touch it just like these sharp things could actually hurt them so just be careful of that so let me just so yeah it looks like a cockroach no matter how you look at it right got that and then finally the antennas oops even like here like it's kind of sharp here so just be careful in fact this one i might recommend just straight up cutting it so this one just get near the edge boop one and two no it is just plastic so and then these ones you just pop them in here although it might be a bit hard because uh so as you guys can see like this is really thin like it's actually re actually i think probably i would recommend actually putting these in before these pincer parts because it just seems really hard to get these in actually like there's nothing like it's not strong enough to actually push in so <laughs> without adding stress marks so hmm let's try it let's pop this one out maybe or not let's just move this out of the way and see if we can't find a way to just slowly use my fingernail and push it in so hmm. almost you know busters i'm just gonna do this off screen and save us some time so hold on busters all right busters finally got it so yeah um honestly while you could put it in like i put this one with a removing i do think putting the antennas in before this one is the recommended uh, way to go so definitely put the antennas before that so lesson learned and here you just plug him up here oops i think i kind of pulled his head out a bit more so uh, at this point it's just one joint connecting so hold the head and rotate it oops around did I get it? Nope. So I've got to make this nice and straight. So there's enough room. There we go. Stick out. Push it in. Hmm. Is it in? Nope. Interesting. Harder than I thought it would be. There we go. And we are done. Look at that. Buster itself. <laughs> Got the legs here and really nice. A bit smaller than I thought it'd be, but oh, look at that. So, yeah. And for the wings, as always, so uh, if you guys can't remember, uh, at the top here it says L. And then the other one, it actually doesn't say R at the top. Oh, I guess. Yeah, it does say R at the top this time. So, R is there. And then you just use your own judgment. Uh, these ones do not pop in this. Here there is a groove. So, you gotta actually slide this part in and then it just kind of works out by itself so there you go and when you put it on just make sure you have um what is it the wings kind of angled downwards or uh the smaller piece it you know it has like a bottom and the missing top part like the big wing has the top and the small part has the bottom you want the bottom underneath so and to put the wings in you just they always say uh move the head down so here it's always covered you want to just lower this down, give it some room to open up the wings, so. Like so. Maybe if there's a bit more. And then up here, it's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but here there is a peg hole here and here, which is hard to see. But once I plug it in, it should be easy. Oh, there we go. There's the hole you can see, so plug that in. Is this? Nope, that's the wrong one, so it's this one. Just push it nice and wiggle it in. There you go. There's one. And there's two. And there you have your flying beetle. So, uh, they do recommend... Sorry, let me just end those up busters. So, the peg hole here. They say plug this up here. And then they got your flying position. Like so. It's really high so yeah 
looks really nice. Like, really, really good. If you have it around like this, so. Yeah, look at that bad boy. So, let me just put it back down. Nope, I'm gonna remove the wings and we kind of go over the uh, paint apps articulation and size comparison. So, but yeah. So first up, articulation. Uh, you kind of already saw everything is just generally on ball joints. Wings open up. Uh, the mandibles can open up. If they're on ball joints. They don't really go side to side much, but you know you can rotate them. So like so. So they can rotate this much. Sorry guys, let me get this lower. So this much. And they can rotate it this much. I don't actually know how these guys use theirs though. They might be rotate instead. Um, legs, uh, there's no, it's single, there's no joints here in the, uh, what is it, knees or anything, so just ball joints here, here, so not much posing with the legs, which is fine. Um, here you can have them like move this much or move up and down. Down ball joints, you can spin them, yay much. As much as this much, head, right? And I usually forget this, but, sorry, let's move this down. Um, I think when you're flying, you're the back, back part, you can actually have it like it is up and down, so I'm not quite sure exactly how or what it does. One's probably one when it's up this, one's probably flying. Pain apps, you know, it's a nice matte, um, it's kind of, it's like, it's kind of hard, but it's kind of like brownish here, like a dark, dark brown, almost black, gray-like. Um, clearly here in the shell, you can clearly see it's got a nice... Mm, kind of gradient-ish from black to brown so and then uh, inside here inside as always has this really nice paint although this one's kind of disappointing I feel like they either like didn't finish or it's supposed to cut off a little bit better I'm not quite sure or maybe I just ah so maybe I think it was I didn't pull it out so maybe I think it was off to the side so I think it's like this so at that point it's a little bit better although I think they should have um, color it all through the way edge I'm not sure but it's fine for me you know it's really nice like here inside it's glossy kind of gives it like that wet look because you know the outer carcass the exoskeleton is supposed to be kind of like dry so really nice and on the bottom it's just like a matte finish so kind of like a dark matte finish there is some color here and like the little mouth parts here but other than that yeah not much else to say about this guy so with kind of size comparisons, here he is next to a Digimon memory gauge. Um, this is just tra traditional like poker size card, trading card, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, you know, regular size, not mini like Yu-Gi-Oh or Vanguard or other games. Sorry, don't really play much of those games. So, but yeah, size comparison, he brought this big, sorry guys, let me just fill it up a bit because his pincers here are quite big. So definitely a big boy like this much lengthwise I mean lengthwise I'd say he's about two trump cards wide or maybe like one here like from here all the way this wide so wide he's about this wide you know and of course um, Starting from now on, I guess, uh, if you guys watch my other videos, I usually compare them with like all the other ones. Honestly, it takes too long, kind of annoying, getting lazy. So I'm just gonna compare them with all the other beetles. So first up, we're gonna compare them from the Quagata first set. So here he is from the first set one. So, so as you can see, it's kind of different. So from the first set, we got the big boy. So I did like the first one, like it, the legs were on a ball joint. So these guys were much bigger, so you can kind of see the size difference here from the first set stag beetle. This guy's surprisingly smaller, I don't know why. So, like that. So there's this one. Um, compared to the other one, I think the other one, they're more similar in size, so stag beetles yeah they're but more similar this one's definitely a bit flatter so interesting interesting i thought they were should have been the same size but yeah 
um, if we compare to him with the Rhino Beetles from that recently released about, uh, I think this one released a week after this set, so the Rhino Beetles, so maybe starting from the second set, they're much smaller, maybe they look so. Although I'm guessing the size comparison isn't quite so useful for most of you right now, because, you know, I feel like you guys won't be able to get this quite as fast, but yeah, it's about that much for this one. Uh, if you compare him, that was Hercules Bruzeni. If you compare him with the Rhino one, you know, kind of like that. You know, have him fight like so, yeah. Size wise, this one's kind of big boy, thin boy, Mario and Luigi. And then the Hercules Hercules. King of the Beatles, I guess. This length, so if you guys managed to get the super long one. Uh, they're about tied for a length wise actually. That's pretty impressive. For like this one, so Yep. That's about it, so yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it, Busters, for this review. Um I know I kinda skimmed over the size comparisons, but honestly there's just too much. But really cool book. Let's just have them kind of like, the wings are kind of in the way, let's have them like that, yeah, so. But really nice, really nice beetle. Um, for my impressions, I guess, um, size-wise, now, size now that I compare him with like the first set, um, Quaggas, he is smaller than I, than I thought, but still, really good detail, like, like the attention to detail, oh, I'm guessing I kind of showed off color, forgot like the details mold, like, you can kind of see here on the side, like it's got these like little ridges like sharp ridges here and here like really nice attention to details you know i don't know if that's true what they have but like even the antenna they got these small ridges like even on the arms like they've got these like one two three spikes here like the attention to details on these guys is amazing so definitely top notch like the hair eyes and stuff so definitely top notch bugs um, so yeah, I definitely recommend this, you know, uh, these are 500 yen, so, you know, uh, I guess currently not, uh, as of now, it's not currently the most expensive, uh, capsule toy gachapon, currently it's a thousand yen, with the new premium Bandai ones, the pre premium gachapons, but yeah, um, great paint app, size-wise, is a bit smaller than, like, the first initial set they released, but I don't really care, you know, it's, looks amazing, um, do I recommend it? Yes. Uh, especially if you guys love the uh, quaggas um i will say this though if anyone's asking like uh which one do i recommend the second set or the first set like i do notice while this first uh second set is smaller um this first set is much looser like as you can see here like maybe it's because the head or something but just overall like i think it's because it's but um the head's supposed to like go up like this but it is a lot looser, so the fact that this one is kind of all compact is kind of an actual plus for me. It could be a uh, con for you, so like even the other one, like they do, I think uh, they did recommend having them up like this, so but still, I do like the fact that this one's more compact, so for me, it's a plus. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I had to say, you know, instead of saying only the good stuff. If you want me to say some of the bad stuff, I would say kind of, you know, maybe a bit small. Um, the fact that the legs aren't movable anymore, it's just one piece is, is kind of um, disappointing. But overall, really cool. Um, unlike, I guess, the, uh, the rhino beetles, these stag beetles are a little bit more rare in terms of um, other gachapon sets you can choose from, like... Rhino beetles and Hercules beetles, those are really popular, so you can generally find them. Stag beetles, generally like this kind, they don't have it, they just have the more like quagga, like kind of like the metal bot one, where it's just more like round, less of these like more protrude, uh, protruding ones, so, but yeah, uh, definitely really cool guy, I definitely recommend it. Um, I'd say, yeah, just like all of them, even this $5, I'd say even up to $10 seems to be a good deal after if you guys are importing with shipping and stuff, even $10 is a good deal. Um, even better deal if you bundle up together and you can split the sh um, costs of savings. You know, especially, you know, you get the wing piece so you can have them all displayed flying up, which is really cool, so. 
so yeah highly recommend this especially for beagle lovers um the only people as i think i said before that don't recommend it would be one for little kids as toys because really sharp i mean not that sharp but you know enough i think like these parts here where you expect it to be the sharpest aren't the sharpest but like other parts here like at the legs are a bit sharper you know might hurt them they might cry also don't recommend it for people who are afraid of bugs because these do look highly realistic you know so just leaving it there might freak people out so that's the only people i wouldn't re really recommend it for but yeah um that's about it for this review surprisingly it took a lot longer even though i cut down the um size comparison time but yeah um i know i go over things really quickly and you know not that very professional but so as always if you guys had any questions or comments or you know about things that i didn't go over nice properly or too quickly or just missed uh, please let me know down in the comment section below and i'll be sure to you know get back to you on that and just with a reply or maybe like an updated video if you guys really need me to show you off something but yeah as always guys greatly appreciate you guys for watching and hope you join me again for the next beetle i'll be going over the other two in the set so if you're interested please look forward to that as always guys this is buster coon here off to find a carnival.